In this video, I'm going to show you how you can set up template messages to deal with buyer communication within Seller Central. So first you're going to log into Seller Central and go into your buyer messages. In order to set up templates, you're going to go all the way to the right to where it says manage email templates. You're going to click on that and that's going to take you to where you can manage your email templates. Now, you can create email templates for any variety of things that pop up when you have customer questions. The two questions I get the most are the ones that I have created templates for. Item not received and damaged or asking for a refund. Those are the two I have. So I'll take you in and show you what those look like and then I will show you how to create your own template. So we're looking at not received. Now there's a couple different parts to this. You'll see the title up here says not received. For some reason, it puts in all this gobbledygook in there for no reason. It says, by checking this box, you are making this template a favorite. It will display in the separate favorites list. So if you have ones that you use all of the time and you've got a couple that you use sometimes, put the ones you use the most in your favorites list so you can have easy access to them from the email buyer communication page. This is the basic copy that I use for mine. If somebody's interested, you can copy it here or send me a PM and I will send it to you. I actually got this from another seller on ScannerMonkey and it works really, really well. Haven't had any problems with people coming back not knowing what to do once I send this email. You can also tag it. So if you have a ton of different templates that you're using and you wanna be able to easily search them, create some tags so you can go through them. I only have two, I don't really need to have tags in them. That's the first part. That's looking at what I have as an email template. Now, if you come back to the Manage Email Templates page, you can go up to Create a Template, and then you can name it whatever you want to be able to remember what it is, decide whether or not you want it in your favorites. As you've seen, you can actually go back and change that so it's not a big deal if you don't decide to do that now. Enter your text. What are you trying to communicate to your buyer? That's the information that goes in there. Make sure you're within Amazon's terms of service as to what kind of communication that you have with your buyer. And then you can add tags by just going down here and entering what you want to call a tag and clicking add. Simple as that. Then go ahead and click save. Oops. It does help if I put a template name in. Call it template example. Hit save. There we go new, new tag. There you go. You can look at it. You can delete it. You can preview it to see what it looks like. Boom. There it pops up. Um, let's look at one of mine. You can see what it looks like to dear customer. So you can see what the formatting looks like now. Okay. We've created templates. How do we go about using them? All right. I go about and show that to you next. Here I am in buyer messages. I've got a list of buyer messages in order to utilize your templates. You need to be in a message from a buyer. So here is spam email that I got. So here's an email. Now here down underneath where you reply to your message is insert email template. Click on that. It brings up a drop down. If you're not sure if you got a lot, these are your most recently used. Here are your favorites. If you have a whole bunch and you want to search for a particular one, you can type in that name or tag so you can remember what it is. I'm going to use damaged or refunded it pops up here I click select and look it populates the reply field for me easy as that all you have to do now is click reply that's how you use templates to reply to customers on Amazon this would actually be something you could train a virtual assistant to do once you've got your template set up if there's somebody sending an email in saying hey I this didn't come to me the way I want it to or whatever you can have your VA automatically send those to them so you don't even have to touch that part of communication. Outsourcing is a great thing. But while we're in here, I want to show you one more thing. I get a lot of these weird spam ones. This one's actually in English. I get a lot that are in Chinese. And I reached out to seller support to ask them what I should do in that situation. Because if you get too many emails and you say response not necessary, which you can't see here because I already responded to this one, um, 
then you get, you'll get marked down for that. So I said, I don't want to get dinged for every time I get these. I'm getting multiple a day. What do I do? If you look here right below the message they sent, if you believe this message is suspicious, please report it to us. All you do is click here and it lets you know that it sent a message to the necessary people and that's all you have to do. I then click response not necessary so it goes out of my 24-hour clock on it, then I'm done. But you want to make sure you're marking those correctly so that you're not going to get dinged for not, you don't want your metrics to get dinged against those. I hope this has been helpful for you to be able to better utilize the message center and not feel so overwhelmed when having to go and rewrite or find and copy the message you want to send. <music>